Now to the latest on that tragedy in Brooklyn, where a fire took the lives of an FDNY firefighter and a young man who lived in that home. Just really devastating. Both are being remembered this morning by the community. And News 12's Katie Lusso is joining us from outside Ladder 170 in Canarsie with those details. Yeah, and as the city prepares to say goodbye to a young firefighter, we all also learning more about the other young man who was killed in Sunday's fire. Unable to fight back tears. The family, friends and colleagues of FDNY firefighter Timothy Klein watched as a black and purple bunting went up outside Ladder 170 in Canarsie yesterday where the 31 year old worked. It's quite a loss. Um inside and outside of the firehouse. His cousin Keith Klein, also a firefighter. He had a positive impact on every person that he met. His brothers and sisters at the firehouse called him a dream to work alongside. Timmy was a officer's dream. He was uh, the guy you look to, all the guys in this house and women. And while his job was to help others, he also made an effort to give back outside of the firehouse, often volunteering for Fight for Firefighters Foundation and the Firefighter Stephen H. Pollard Memorial Foundation. Did a lot of work for charities on his days off. As the city prepares to say goodbye to a fallen hero, a Canarsie family is also preparing to say goodbye to their loved one. 21 year old Carlos Richards was trapped inside the burning home and didn't survive. In a post by his sister, Chloe Richards, on a GoFundMe page, she wrote that her family is still processing and unable to speak. She called Carlos a light in her family's lives. She says he loved horse racing, listening to music, dancing with his family, and wrestling. She says he loved deeply and loved everyone, always giving hugs and sending voice notes. She says he'll be missed and asked for his picture to be shared so that the world can know his face. Now we have posted a link to that gun GoFundMe page on our website, news12.com, as well as all of the information for FDNY firefighter Timothy Klein's funeral. In Canarsie, I'm Katie Lusso, News 12. In our